Jury deliberations have officially begun in the historic criminal trial against former President Donald Trump. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest from outside a courthouse in Manhattan. For the first time in U.S. history, a jury now weighing criminal charges against a former American president. Twelve New Yorkers deliberating behind closed doors to decide whether or not Donald Trump should be convicted on 34 counts of falsifying business records in the hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. He walked into the courtroom today without stopping to speak in front of the cameras. Prosecutors argued Trump ordered his former attorney Michael Cohen to pay Daniels for her silence about her alleged sexual encounter with him to hide that from voters right before the 2016 election. They say when Trump reimbursed Cohen, he purposely disguised it as a legal expense, a scheme that prosecutors called a subversion of democracy. The prosecution bringing 20 witnesses to the stand, including Daniels and their star witness, Michael Cohen. But the defense told jurors they couldn't convict based on Cohen's testimony. Defense attorney Todd Blanche calling Cohen the greatest liar of all time. The defense started by trying to raise what's called reasonable doubt. Uh, they talked about Donald Trump's intent, lack thereof, to commit a crime. Trump has pleaded not guilty and has denied that sexual encounter with Daniels. But the prosecution asking the jury to hold Trump accountable to come back in here and say guilty. Prosecutors came back and said, look, we don't even need Michael Cohn in our case. Look at the documentary evidence. Prosecutors trying to tell jurors, look at the big picture here. How else could this possibly have happened? What else could Donald Trump have possibly been doing except paying off Stormy Daniels in an effort to protect himself from the 2016 election ramifications? And now the jury is made up of seven men and five women, and this is a very educated jury. There's a teacher, there's a speech therapist, lawyers and bankers. The judge says deliberations will go until 430 this afternoon, and if there is no decision, they're expected to return tomorrow. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.